Hey guys, so today I'm going to do like three videos in one. I'm going to start off with my November favorites, current favorites, whatever you want to call it. Then I'm going to do a story time. <laughs> and then I'm basically going to do a haul all in one video. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And funny story about the story time. Oh my God, you like my hot hi, hi hunter. Funny story about the story time I'm about to tell. I, um, <sighs> Yep, it's going to include why I haven't been here in a while. And uh, you might just either A, laugh hysterically, or B, gag. And not in a good way. I mean, gag as in, like, going to, like, throw up, like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now type of thing, you know? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> do you like this? I think I look so good. I think I look so orange and, like, tan and, like bronze but a bitch don't hate it do you like the background yes i do okay all right anyway let's get into it <laughs> so for the longest time i have been looking online for one specific specific product from mac mac did not have it for so long like the longest time and I was so upset because I saw it in Jeffree Star's video. I saw it in Nikki Tutorial's video. I saw it in everybody's video. How Everybody. This is Max Shivering White. This is usually, this is like actually like a foundation powder. Like it was out of a certain line. Like it is Studio Fix powder, which is a very high coverage powder, but it was in like a Mac Pro collection called like pastels or whatever so I guess maybe this is kind of to tone down a foundation or some people maybe they have to use this as their foundation powder who knows um but I really do love this powder for under my eyes I don't know if I'm wearing it today it's just so bright under there uh this powder is so full coverage like you don't even need that much this is how I do it I take my real technique sponge I go in couple dabs go right up under the eye that's it you don't even need like this will last me forever because i'm not using it anywhere but under my eyes so that's like a, such a small area that like this will last literally forever also that's not what i use it for i also use it for setting my the uh eye primer that i use which is uh the smashbox 24 hour or something or another primer um so i'll just take a fluffy brush with this and just like kind of go over my eye before i put on um, any eyeshadow or anything and that just kind of sets it and brightens that whole area up instead of using a white eyeshadow there's so many things you can do with this like obviously if you're really dark skin obviously you're not gonna be able to use this but you could use like if you like a bright under eye lighter skin tones can probably use an NC like 35 or an NC like 30 it's good also I, I like so forgot about this but this I have been using this foundation every single day. This is Max Studio Fluid. Like, like this is like OG foundation for some people. Like, some people have been using this since they were like young teenagers. Um, this is NC35. I am not NC35. I'm actually NC like 25. I can use like 27. Like, I'm like somewhere in between 25 and 30, but I am not 35. Like, this is golden, golden, golden tan. Um, but I'm a person, and I don't know if you've been watching my videos for a long time, but I'm a person that loves to use darker foundations, darker bronzers, bright under eyes. Like, that's how I like to do my makeup, so that's just my preference. Um, so this works for me, and it's full coverage, and when I get oily, it does not break up. Some foundations that I use break up, uh, especially, especially on my nose. Don't know what it is, they just break up, and, you know. Who knows like I could literally go like this and none will be there it'll be all on my finger and like it's just so weird but this foundation it's good it's really good and it looks small like I like I always thought that it looked small because I never used to read how much is actually in it but there's one fluid ounce in this which is you know basically like a lot of foundations are one fluid ounce like that's kind of like the normal for liquid foundations um but it does look small, but when you, like, it's so thick. I don't actually, there is a pump that comes with it. I don't have the pump. Um, just because I put it on my, uh, 
metal tray and then I kind of stippled it on my face from that but that's it um but I see why they have a pump now because it is so 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 thick that you're gonna be like sitting there forever trying to get it out but you know it's a good foundation full coverage golden tan and everything great okay I tried to brine but I couldn't <laughs> so this is the Becca uh champagne splits with amaretto and Prosecco and yes I don't have nails on right now yes I don't have nails on right now I am getting them done soon um I had to take them off for a minute because I had a lot of uh things to do and uh yep they will be coming back but don't worry you know okay anyway Amaretto and Prosecco pop these are the best highlighter blush duos of the winter and the fall season yes golden highlights are good for summer but when you have that warm tone blush when you have that golden highlight yes oh, yes 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 I had on so much but I'm like adding more mm -hmm. when you just add that golden highlight like in the winter with like that warm like terracotta y pinky amaretto y blush oh my god you're just like winning, honey. Okay, winning. Yes, I love to put this everywhere, honey. All right, anyway. Oh, fan brush, amazing. I mentioned it in my last favorites, but it's so good. All right, no, yes, this is the, and obviously Becca Champagne Pop, obviously all their highlights are amazing. Moonstone, um, Opal, all of them, they're great. Love you. But I didn't think that I would love this golden highlight because I'm not a really golden highlight type of person. I am more of a like, if it is going to be golden, I like it to be like a more neutral golden. You know what I mean? Like in the Anastasia kit, um, I think I have that glow. Is it that glow? Yes, that glow. There's a, there's two golden highlights. There's one that's like a lot darker golden and then there's one there's golden that like is a very neutral. It's the one I love. Now, I love this so much, especially paired with the blush. I'll actually put on the blush chopper today because why not and sometimes I mix them like I'm putting on the blush right now and you know with the amaretto like that's an amazing blush chopper mm-hmm oh which is highlighted anyway very amazing little palette little to some little split pans what are they actually called though little double things little double like split pans I don't know mm. hey bitch how you doing all right let's move on to my non-beauty favorites and I think you'll love this one so I've been a Bath and Body Works fanatic for the longest time I got so many candles they just had their 850 candle sale and oh my god it's the most amazing thing ever now this one is spiced ginger bread are you kidding me Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody really like watching Jenna Marbles and Julian's vlog for Vlogmas and like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this just smells like all, like, like you're baking like gingerbread cookies like in your kitchen and you're, they're in the oven and they're almost about to be done but then you're not really done yet but they're so soft and you just want to eat them so you just take them out the oven and then you just eat them and without any regrets and you know, there's none for nobody else but you don't really care. Next are some like neutral like everyday type of candles which I love. The first one is black tie. Let me tell you something. Oh my god. Oh mm, this just smells like a man that just gets out of the shower and he puts on his like old spice deodorant and it's just like and you just want to like do a lot of things. And it's just mmm mmm you know what this really smells like like TBH adidas cologne like the men adidas cologne that you can get like around this time like oh my god mm. this is the good stuff this 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 is this is this is good this is real good last year they had black tie then they had like I think it was called Party Dress and it was in a purple container and or in a purple like the wax was purple and it was so good like that was like the female version that was the male version I don't know why they didn't do this but 
out that same collection, <laughs> I also got Champagne Toast. Oh my. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it just smells so fruity and like the best like shan like it, it's almost like this is how I describe it like when you're when you get like a um the champagne flute full of champagne right you got expensive like Dom Perignon and you know you just drop a raspberry in there you just drop like maybe maybe like a blueberry or no not a blueberry that's probably nasty but like a raspberry and like maybe a strawberry and then you just like mix it up let it sit And then it's just like orangey and tangerine and this is like what my dreams are made of like I love this candle especially for like an everyday purpose like a sweet it's just so good it's just so good if you haven't tried it you need to try it now thanks so much <laughs> last but not least is my actual favorite candle from Bath and Body Works ever but they just came out with a new one called Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity let me tell you something Mahogany Teakwood always reminds me of, and this is going to get sappy for two seconds. It reminds me of 2013, the summer of 2013, when I first started my YouTube channel. And I remember exactly what the smell was. And it was Mahogany Teakwood. And I remember exactly what the packaging looked like on the original Mahogany Teakwood. It was golden and it was a clear jar. Oh my God. And it just reminds me of summer 2013. Oh my God. This also smells like a man, but not one that just got out of the shower, like one that just like got like a new car smell. Like, oh my God, this is like one that just like got a new Bentley and like he's taking you out on the first date and like he wants the car to smell good. So he just kind of like, you know, gets mahogany teakwood candle in his car. Mm. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, that was all my favorites. Now onto the story time. Okay. So I can't believe I'm about to admit this, but. I took a long time off of the internet from whatever. Um, at first it was just because, you know, I think it's good to take a time off. Like it's good to just take two seconds to yourself, forget about everything else. You know what I mean? Just, just forget about social media, live in the real world for two seconds. That's what I did. So then I upload my, I forget what video it was. Oh, it was my, um, uh, October favorites. I think. Yeah. It was like a favorites video. And, um, and I was like, okay, I'm so excited to get back. I'm going to film. I'm going to edit. I'm going to upload and it's just going to be good. And I'm going to bring this YouTube channel back, honey. Oh God. Oh, let's not work too hard. Okay. 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 All right. Everything's bad. Everything's not good. All right. Anyway, come on. All right. Thanks so much. Now, so I was like getting ready to get back in the groove and then one day my computer my laptop just like kind of broke out of nowhere and i didn't know why i didn't understand it so then i try to fix it i try to see what's going on and i'm a person that don't like anybody to touch my shit like i don't like taking it to a computer or what do they have at best buy like that geek squad or whatever the fuck it is it's like geek something um i don't like doing that i just don't it's just it's not because i hate it it's just because i mean let's be honest i don't have time for it um, so, and I don't feel like paying someone to fix it when I can clearly figure out what the hell is wrong with it in the first place. But that's besides the point. So I tried to fix it myself and I could not find what, what the hell was going on with it. It was like, I, I, you know, I was pressing this button and that button and, you know, trying to like, you know, trying to do all these like techie things that I don't know what the fuck I was doing. So I'm just like sitting here and I'm like, okay. Well, okay, so it's not that. So I start, I start like ruling out everything. I said, okay, it's not that, not that, it's not that. I don't know what the fuck it is. So I just like let it go. I let it sit there for like, I think it was like a full month, because I just uploaded a video like a, like a week ago, so or a couple days ago, and like, it was like the craziest thing. Like I didn't know what the hell was wrong with it. I didn't know what to do. So I just let my computer sit there. It didn't. It wasn't charging. And then I was like, okay. So it's not charging. Is that what's wrong with it? So this is the part that gets weird. So 
I am a person that have very, very itchy ears. Like, the itchiest of fucking ears ever. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's genetic. I never saw anybody really, like, itch their ear like I do. Like, it never... It just doesn't happen. Like, it's not normal. Not normal. So... I, I, I like, I don't know what clicked in my head to like look at it, but I looked at the power cord and the power cord is very, very small. Like it's like as small as like this brush right here, like this very small, like you just plug it in, boom. So what I would always do is I would take the power cord and kind of like itch my ear with it. I know, gross. I would just like itch my ear with it and I wouldn't think like to like I wouldn't care because it was just like I would just itch my ear with it and that's it so then I remember like I know I like use q-tips like I use q hello we all use q-tips or we should and I like clean my ears but there's always like everybody has earwax right everybody has earwax and the more you like do that it was collecting my fucking earwax my ear me my earwax in the computer and the power cord little cord it has like a little hole in it like m imagine this with a little hole in it and I would just go like this and there was earwax built up in the goddamn fucking power cord so I'm like okay maybe this is it maybe 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 this is it so I take uh, I try to get a, a pin or something and I and then I took a thumbtack like one of them tacks that you tack to the wall I took a thumbtack because it's really small and I just like go in and I like try to like go around it. It was the nastiest thing you have ever seen in your life. There was so much old earwax that came out. It was like this, it was like dried up crust. It was nasty, uh, nasty. Like no one should ever witness that in their life. So then I'm like, okay, well, then it has to look like that in my computer. So I do the same thing to my computer. Same thing. There was so much that came out. So then I'm like, okay, if this does not work, I'm going to either vomit, puke, or just kind of, you know, throw my laptop against the wall. I plug my computer into the power cord. It goes on. The whole fucking computer goes on. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. My computer was broke because of my earwax. Like, what the fuck? That's the nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, now I keep Q-tips on me because my ears are still itchy as fuck. And, like, I have to clean them. Like, we all have to clean our ears, but I have to clean them with, like, peroxide or something. Because it's not fucking funny. And it's not, like, it's, it's just not a fun time. It's not a fun time to know that your computer was broke because of your earwax. So that was my story time. And now I feel a bit out of place because I'm usually like, no, things won't happen. No, is it nasty? <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. I am gonna be doing so many videos. Um, I know I'm back, honey. Yes, I'm officially back. Um, I'm going to be doing some makeup tutorials for Christmas. Hello, Christmas. Hello. I'm going to keep this backdrop because I love the blue. I love the blue. I really do. I, um, did it last year. I had to like dust her off real quick because I had this last year and it was like really wrinkly. So I had, it, it still has a little bit of wrinkles, but she's surviving. She's surviving. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh yeah, baby. What the fuck was that? I'll see you later. Bye.